that bad boy. Welcome to Stupid Movies, where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we watched Play or Die, 2019, not rated, 89 minutes long. And uh, this was a, like a, not a blind buy because I didn't buy it. But we knew nothing about this movie. I saw it at Redbox and oh, we're going to do it tonight for the show. And we did. Woohoo! Coffee! Who directed this movie? Is that, is that Jacques? Jacques? Jacques Kluger. Who starred in this movie? Charlie Rothwell and uh, Roxanne Macrida. Was that Clay? Yeah, Clay! She was Clay! <laughs> Woo, there was some accents. So, we should probably tell you up front this was a Belgian movie. Yeah, we couldn't figure out the accents. <laughs> We're like, okay, it's somewhere in Europe, I think. Why don't we tell you what it's about? Because that won't make any sense otherwise. Hey, so, ask Adam. me. <laughs> Yo, dude, what? Uh, you, we played and we died. What was it about? All right, so this movie was about kind of like an alternate reality game, sort of like an ARG uh, escape room sort of game where they've been collecting these clues over the course of, it sounded like, at least a, a year. A year, yeah. Uh, and there was a million euro prize up at the end. Finally, we were like, we're not smart enough to figure it out, so we <laughs> yeah. used IMDb and we found out it was in Belgium. This was a Belgian movie. Yeah, which I don't know if I've ever watched a Belgian movie. Yes, you have. It was called Play or Die. We watched it tonight. <laughs> yep. What did we like about it? Um, okay, well, speaking of that, I like the escape room concept and the atmosphere and the vibe of that stuff. You know, if I didn't, I did an escape room once and I sucked at it. Yeah. So if I was in this position, I'd be dead right away. Oh, yeah, you would have been the first person to die. I'm not the sharpest yeah. peanut in the turd. You, you wouldn't even made it past the dinner. Thank you. You know, I like all the red herrings in this movie. There were a lot of where it built it up like, oh, it's going to be this person is the killer, and then that person died. Uh, you know, I really like the use of lighting in this movie. Different color, kind of like uh, Calabas. It was kind of like that. It was a lot there, like that. In a house, you know, there's people at a party and or whatever, and the lighting, but you had blue and you had red, the rooms. Yeah. And... It, it was cool to see it wasn't just like all dark yeah. or super overlit. It, it had some moody lighting. And that it was did. really nice. That was cool. It kind of added to the uh, atmosphere. You know, going with that is the location they used. Yeah. Because this took place in an abandoned mental asylum. Yep. Uh, which is always a cool location to me. I love seeing those. I like seeing a movie that took place at an abandoned asylum that wasn't a haunted house ghost movie. Yep. Because there was no supernatural nope. haunted spooky in this at all. Yeah, and I was kind of expe I, I was waiting for when, it. When they got to the while. location, that's what I thought yeah. was going to happen. I thought, oh, this is going to go like 13 Ghosts yeah. or House on Haunted Hill sort of thing. I'm like, oh, great. And they didn't. And no. kudos to you. That was a cool use of a. Uh, yeah, and speaking of that, so they had a, a kind of a multi subgenre in. So it started out kind of a, like an escape room kind of vibe, and then it kind of went to like a torture porn kind of almost, like a saw hostile. Yeah, it's definitely. But not, not as crazy or graphic. But, and then it kind of turned into like a little bit of psychological horror. Uh, you at know. the end, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was kind of neat. That and it kind of started off as kind of like a boring horror. There, uh, there wasn't a lot of like score or soundtrack, but the, you know, some of the score and the sounds they used were pretty good. The gore in it. What was there was pretty good. Yeah. Like the makeup effects, what, what they did to make them look, it looked mainly practical. Pretty much practical and some nasty wounds. Yeah. And a lot of screwdrivers in the neck. A lot of screwdrivers. Thing. They used the screwdriver was like the main weapon. Oh, oh, that, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of cool. I mean, you know, we can't really do much with a screwdriver, but... Stab was, people. Well, <laughs> and cut people. Right. Those but, were the two things that were done. Right. The huh. teeth. Yeah. And then the best part of the movie was this... Uh, the worst part of the movie. This guy is forced basically to pull out his own teeth, and it's just... Very cringy and hard to watch. Very hard to watch. And the best thing about it, I look over and he covered his face with a pillow. Yep. And I, I, that's great. No, no. I want to be very clear here. I covered my face with a pillow before it even started. Clay! Clay! <laughs> uh, speaking of that, the accents got on my nerves. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so let's talk about dislikes. The accents were a big one. Yeah. And this would have been a good movie to have subtitles on. Yeah. Because... For sure. Uh, and they probably didn't, we just didn't turn them on because we're stupid. Uh, a big one for me is the logistics. And this, I come back to all the time in movies, if the killer is who it was in this movie, which we're not going to give away, no. what that person would have had to do to make all of these different things work out, there were a few scenes where it just wouldn't work. Kind of the same thing we said when we watched Call of Us. It was the same kind of yep. uh, complaint about that. Yep, um, Friday the 13th Part 2 is another one. I have a huge complaint with that. Yeah. 
you know, the movie had pacing issues for me. Oh, yeah. Like we said, it started out incredibly slow for the first 10, 15 minutes. It's like, yeah. what are we watching? A lifetime drama? And then it would pick up a little bit, but then it would drop off again for another 10, 15 minutes. Like, oh, come on. Characters, most of them were throwaway. Yeah. You, you had your two main characters and then other people. Who and gives a crap about that? And then when people died, the problem is you have no attachment to any of them. So it's like, whatever, I really it's don't like, care. They really, the, I mean... The only one I really kind of cared about was the one who got all his teeth pulled out. Right. And I didn't care about him. <laughs> I cared, cared about, about his happened. teeth. They really didn't put anything... I mean, yeah. I guess it made sense in the end why they were there. Well, no, not really. No. No. Because they didn't even show most of them die. You just saw the after. Yeah. Damn it! I just realized that! Most of the kills were off screen. Yeah! The only yeah. one you see die on screen was the crazy lady who killed herself. That's true. Um, Music? Yeah. Uh, some of the puzzle logic was whack. I I'm going to say this as obtusely as possible so I don't give anything away, but the ending to this movie felt ripped from Psycho. To a point I get it, if you're going to rip off a movie's ending, rip off one of the best. Um, but how about don't? You know, and the biggest thing, and I think for you too, was when things happened or they were in a dire situation, there was a lack of uh, emotional and realistic response. Yes. Um, the movie really quickly switched from light, fluffy escape room to people getting murdered. And no one at any point questioned it. No. You are strapped to a bed. Yeah. With a rack full of knives coming down at you. Which is a cool idea. That was cool. Yeah. But you need to be freaking out more. Because yeah. you've got knives coming at you. Yeah. So it just, it just, uh, it just wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, hey, uh, we, what are your final thoughts? I liked it. It was okay. It wasn't great. Yeah. It wasn't the best horror movie I've seen this year. Oh, it wasn't the best know. escape room movie I've seen oh, this no. year. The first 15 minutes, we're sitting at like a one, one and a half. Yeah. And then when it got going, and it kind of ramped up, and at one point it even came up to like a six, six and a half, where it was like, this is cool, shit's happening, yes, this is great! And then the teeth got pulled, and I was like, mmm, oh, this is good! And then it kind of, mm. like, stopped. Yeah, it's like you're in the middle of going to town... And your boner just says, ah, I'm tired. So I'm going to give it a five out of eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Uh, you know, it started out incredibly slow. I'm like, great, what is this junk? Is this going to be a little drama? I don't want to be. And then I pick up, I'm like, okay, this is getting better. But ultimately, it was just a lack of consistency. It could have used some more gore and more stuff happening more often. I'm going to go four and a half out of eight. It's a little bit less than you. Yeah. And, you know, and uh, this is one of those middle of the road, but that two scene and seeing you just, uh, yeah. I would say Raise if you can find just that scene, yeah, like on YouTube or Vimeo or, or yeah, wherever, I don't yeah. know where else the kids get their movies from, but if you can find just that scene out of this movie, watch it. Yeah, for sure. Because that was the best part of this movie. On that note, if you want to check it out, it's at Redbox, it's somewhere else, I ever, it's, I, it's out there. You got it at Redbox, it out. right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, watch it at your own risk. It's decent enough. Watch us at your... At your own risk. That's right. You can watch us at Facebook.com slash stupid movies. Or over on Instagram at Stupid Movies. At the Horror Punk. At Dr. Sketch Turner. You can also email us at, at stupid movies at outlook.com. Send us pictures of you getting your teeth pulled. <laughs> Rob starting a collection. Oh, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Yep. Tell people word of mouth if you like what we're doing. Eh, okay. Ask to mouth. Yeah, ask to mouth. Do it. Yeah. Um, anyway. We will see you next week. Bye, friends. <laughs> and this week, we went into a blind mo- Um, And this week, we watched Player Die from- You look at me with, like smirking, you're making me laugh. <laughs> and this week, we watched Player Die from- <laughs> Damn it to Helly Bob. Bill! Ah! <laughs> And this week we watched. We gonna do welcome again? No. Oh, okay. <laughs>